Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this free series, I'm going to be teaching you how to make full stack GraphQL apps. Now, for this series, we're going to be using Meteor, we're going to be using Apollo, we're going to be using React, and we're going to be using MongoDB. Now, before you have a whole bunch of questions about why I'm using these things, uh, this video is going to take care of all of those. We're going to be talking a little bit about what we're building and why I'm using these technologies. And fear not, if you don't want to learn Apollo with Meteor or React, I will be doing a lot more Apollo and GraphQL tutorials this year on all sorts of different topics. So uh, just keep your eyes open. But if you want a nice introduction into using Apollo and not have to write your own server or your own accounts or you have to worry about a database, then this is the perfect way to get started. So let's get going on this right now while I talk a little bit about why we're using the things we're using and how, to, how they all fit in together. So let's get started right now. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tutorials and I kind of decided to do an impromptu tutorial on something I've been working on a lot lately, which is Meteor and Apollo with GraphQL and React. And this is kind of specific stack here, but uh, I'm going to go into a little bit about why I chose the stack and if you've never worked with Meteor don't worry We're actually not going to be using too much of Meteor's Meteor stuff So you might be wondering why we're even using it at all and I'll, I'll get into that as well uh, But what we're going to be doing is writing an app with Meteor and GraphQL and React Okay, so let's actually answer some of those questions before we get into any sort of code Okay, now I should mention if you're only interested in the Apollo stuff and you don't want to learn how to set up Meteor and React and you just want to have the app up and running, uh, go ahead and, and zoom to, I think, video number three, no, video number four, where we talk about getting set up with our API. Because uh, from that point forward, it's going to be pretty much all Apollo and React stuff. The first couple of videos are setting up, installing Meteor, going over the file structure, and then getting React up and running. So if you already know how to do all that stuff and you just want to clone the repo, go ahead and start on video number four. Okay. But the goal of this series will be to build a sort of modern full stack application where we can save things to a database and query that database and display that information in uh, our front end framework of choice. Of course, in this version, it's going to be React, but you could seriously use anything. And we're going to be using GraphQL to do that rather than well, an express API or uh, rather than having to set up your own database and rather than having to use Meteor's, well, I shouldn't say having to, but rather than using Meteor's tracker system. Uh, and I'm going to explain a little bit about why. So uh, let's check this out. Some of the reasons why we're using these technologies. Uh, first question, why Meteor? Uh, why use Meteor at all? Um, the answer to that is, well, it makes getting started really fast. We don't have to set up a database. We don't have to set up a server. We don't have to set up an API. We just install Meteor. And out of all that, we get a free account system too. So we're going to be using Meteor's accounts system. We're going to be using the database, which is MongoDB that comes pre-configured within Meteor. And we're going to be using all of the nice server stuff that comes pre-configured with Meteor. And we're going to be using Meteor's awesome zero config build tool that gives us things like code splitting and dynamic modules and stuff like that. Okay, so that's why we're using Meteor. We're essentially using as a build tool that includes a server, a database, and user accounts. It's basically just a way to save time and not have to set all of that stuff up with any other sort of node platform. Okay, so that's why Meteor. Uh, I also got asked this today on Twitter, which is Meteor versus Apollo, which one? Well, I, I like using them both together as Meteor for the server stuff and um, uh, Apollo to pull the data from the server. Now, in the future, I could see a future where you're not using Meteor at all. You're using Webpack and Express and all that sort of stuff to um, use Apollo. But I think they work really nicely together. So I don't think it needs to be a Meteor versus Apollo question, but Meteor and Apollo or Apollo separately. Either way, the Apollo system for querying data is super excellent. So if you're asking about the front end sort of stuff like uh, querying data, if we're talking about Tracker versus Apollo, you're going to see some of the Apollo benefits, or uh, they're actually pretty much GraphQL benefits, but Apollo benefits with GraphQL pretty much immediately. 
Okay, so uh, I've gone over a couple of those things. Let's talk a little bit more. They're saying Meteor. Well, I don't want to include a whole bunch of stuff with my site, right? I want it to be small, and that's why I'm not going to use Meteor. Honestly, our code base is going to be very small. We're going to be using a bare version of Meteor. So the amount of stuff that is Meteor specific that is going to get loaded into your app is really minimal and not going to affect your, your build size very much at all. I mean, we're going to keep it pretty lightweight here. In fact, I'm using the same stuff on leveluptutorials.com, uh, not on the production version yet, but the build times, the build sizes, and uh, the loading times are absolutely blazing fast. So no worries there. Next, uh, I want to talk about uh, why Apollo. I mean, there's other GraphQL systems, right? You could use a Relay which is another system for using uh, GraphQL and JavaScript. Now, uh, I chose Apollo because it's built by the people who built Meteor, and it's excellent. Um, you can see it's being used by quite a few people. I, from what I've heard, I haven't actually dove too much into Relay. I've heard Relay is a little bit tougher to pick up, uh, a little bit more opinionated, a little bit more code. Um, Apollo, you know, since I do like the way the Meteor team has handled Meteor, uh, I, I figured I would like Apollo more. And Apollo also includes some really cool stuff like Apollo Engine. Um, it makes it just really super easy to get up and running with GraphQL. And if you don't know what Apollo is, you'll sort of understand as we go. Next, uh, why GraphQL over Meteor Tracker? Now, this is an answer that's going to get answered as we start writing our queries and our data, but basically it makes things like relational queries, really super duper easy, but it also just makes your, your querying and your API overall just so much better, just so much more seamless and uh, self-documenting and all sorts of great, great things. So I think the very first time you write anything relational in Apollo, you're going to be like, oh, this is awesome, okay? And I'm using GraphQL for all sorts of excellent, excellent things on the Level Up site that I can go into later as well. Okay, and if you're if you want to learn a little bit more about GraphQL, like what it is and why you want to use it, you'll want to head over to syntax.fm. Let me load that up. And if you don't know about Syntax, it's a podcast I do with Wes Boss, and our very next episode is going to be on GraphQL. I guess it's maybe not the next episode, but the next one we record, episode number 27, is going to be on GraphQL. So if you want to uh, learn a little bit about that, head to Syntax.fm or subscribe in your favorite podcast player. And Wes Boss and I are going to go all over the what's and why's and how's and whatever of GraphQL, how it relates to Apollo, how it relates to Relay, all that good stuff. So if you want to learn how to build full stack apps with Apollo, this is a great place to learn it because we're going to essentially not have to worry about the little stuff that maybe you already know how to do like an express server or whatever. Maybe you don't know how to do them and you don't want to learn how to do them. Either way, we're going to get a awesome full stack Apollo app going and we're gonna get started in the very next video. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook. Uh, if I did not address one of your concerns here, or if you just wanna tell me you hate one of the technologies you p I picked in here, go ahead and leave a comment on the video. And I should mention, this is not going to be the only GraphQL or Apollo series I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing some premium ones as well for Level Up Pros. I'm gonna be doing some ones talking about Graph CMS, about Graph Cool all sorts of this stuff with GraphQL. I believe very strongly GraphQL is the future. So, so no worries uh, if you don't care about Meteor and React. Either way, if you just want to learn Apollo, this is a great place to do so because honestly, we're not going to be using a ton, ton, ton of Meteor specific stuff. Okay, so with that all said, let's get started, fire up the next video, and let's get coding.